The storm that hit Burrumbuttock on Saturday afternoon destroyed the Fanrick family's water tanks and a garage. The kids were in their bedroom looking out the window, watching the major trees out the front yard. They're large 50-year-old trees that um, just fell over. Two pet geese were also killed during the wild weather. The family moved to its Aralda Siding Road property nine months ago and estimates the damage bill may reach up to $100,000. The fan ricks captured images of the storm as it dissipated above a neighbour's house. It's only lasted a couple of minutes, but during that time, the storm tore past the Fandrick family's house and also damaged nearby properties. The neighbours here, just stunned, dazed, looking around. Thankful no one was uh, hurt or killed. Council workers and volunteers cleared roads of fallen trees, with the clean-up continuing along Brocklesby Road today. The SES says it was the worst damaged area across the region. It wasn't a tornado, but uh, the effects, I suppose, um, on the ground looked very much like that. Meanwhile, on the Victorian snowfields, the weekend's icy conditions brought some long-awaited snowfall. This has been remarkable to see the transition from just a few days ago, but uh, you know, 15 centimetres one night, 30 centimetres the next night. And there's more snow on the way, with meteorologists expecting another cold system to hit the region midweek. Brianna Piazza, Wind News.